Hey guys, welcome back to Vito's Garage. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to test your vacuum shutoff valve. So stay tuned. So you're gonna need this manual vacuum pump to test your vacuum shutoff valve on these old school benzes. So first thing is I'm gonna jump inside. I'm gonna uh, open the hood and I'll start the engine as well. Uh, but long story short is there's um, uh, the vacuum sh pump, vacuum shutoff valve is located on the back of the injection pump. And you have to, uh, there's a vacuum port that goes to it. There's a, a vacuum hose you have to remove actually. So I'm gonna show you how to remove that hose and how to connect this pump to it. This car is so easy to get to. Okay, so now that's off. Grab this thing. Okay, so. I'm not gonna pump it right now. I'm just gonna start the engine. Oh, I left my ratchet over there. Now what you do, come here and when you pump it, it has to stall out. Okay, so it did stall out. You know your vacuum pump shutoff valve is working. Pretty easy test. Now, grab that line, reconnect it. It. So this is another thing you should be checking on your cars is the tire pressure. I usually put like 35 psi to all the tires uh, front and rear it's like the best optimal uh, pressure for these for these cars all right another good thing would be to put diesel additive in your fuel tank A few moments later. All right, guys, I'm gonna show you how to uh, check your battery voltage while the engine is running. So, this is on the 20 volt scale, touch one lead with a, you know, to the negative, the other lead to the positive. So that's your alternator voltage. The alternator is all good, it's charging. So that's good. That's how you check this bad boy.
three most important gauges to pay attention to guys very important when you're driving you have to pay attention to those three gauges that i'm going to show it to you right now so these are your three most important gauges your temperature your oil pressure very important and your fuel gauge so when you drive on the highway you want to or whatever you are whenever you drive doesn't matter where you are or what time you got to pay attention to these three gauges it's very important okay pay attention to these gauges okay guys so this is what i do to my cars is every so often maybe like you know once per week or something like that i come out here and i start the engine and i actually lubricate my my belts so they don't get dry routed and they last a lot longer so very simple videos garage thanks for watching thanks for supporting thanks for all your likes comments subscriptions it really means a lot thanks guys thanks for saving old school mercedes uh, it really makes me happy you know when other people actually text me you know saying hey man you know i just saved this old school mercedes from a junkyard so hey man big respect to you you know thank you you actually made my day so anyways today i'm just gonna i'm working on the cherry pie and just wanted to show you really quick a really common problem on these cars uh which is a battery tray as all of you know uh, and rust under the battery tray so this one is actually pretty bad um, so let's go I'm gonna show you but it's it doesn't look too pretty so I'm gonna have to actually do a lot of work on that um, yeah let's go ahead here it is so this is how the battery tray looks and there's rust under the battery tray and then this was under the battery as well I'm assuming this is a cover for the positive post Somebody left here probably back in 1992 or something. Um, okay. So this area really needs work. It needs help. Uh, battery tray is half gone. Just some flakes. You guys like uh, flakes with the milk? Ooh, some flakes. Yeah that but that's pretty bad so i'm gonna have to work on that but in the meantime what i think is actually you guys might think that i'm crazy but probably i am is i have some used oil i'm probably gonna pour used oil all over this place right now because i'm not gonna be working on this area just yet but i'm probably gonna pour um pour um used oil in here uh, and that's gonna kind of like you know keep it preserved for a little bit you know and then i'm gonna put the battery back on top of it um and obviously i'm gonna put something underneath in case it overfills or you know starts dripping whatever uh but that's kind of my plan guys i really you know saw this thing and it doesn't look too good but either way i'm gonna be working on this thing in the future the battery tray is obviously no good so if you guys have like a used battery tray or something let me know um and uh, probably get it from you um, but for now it's gonna just be like that uh, there's the battery I'm actually gonna work on the battery I actually wanna pop these ports off I'm gonna check the battery level because the AutoZone told me that my battery is no good but I actually just started the car you know a couple you know maybe 10 minutes ago with this battery and it's all good uh, so I'm gonna do that guys all right here's my used oil and uh, head cardboard on the bottom I'm just gonna go ahead and start soaking this especially that area right there start leaking over here actually so here and I have rags 
can grab those rags. And actually, a good idea would be to put the thing on here. Pan, I'm gonna bring the pan now. There you go, that's a lot better. I can proceed with this thing. Preserve this a little bit, you know, stop some stuff. Um, let's pour some more. So, used oil can be actually a good thing sometimes. And what I was actually thinking is to grab like an empty spray bottle and pour used oil in it, and then uh, use that as you know, undercoating on your car. to take this uh, kind of apart uh, make sure the surface is all clean as clean as it can be I popped this cover off I mean uh, the handle off of one end um, now I'm ready to pop these cells and check the fluid level if there's any cells that are low I'm gonna top it off with distilled water appear to be good in this that's good put it back clean it a little and put it back I'm gonna check the other side all right this other side is good as well I'll put it back should be all good with this I'm gonna check the area once again. Alright, it's good, soaked in. I'm gonna reconnect the battery. 